Good evening, everybody. Welcome to episode number 17 of the Fanboys Anonymous group meeting podcast. I'm your host, the owner of FanboysAnonymous.com, Tony Mango, and with me on the panel tonight, we've got a bunch of different fanboys here. We've got Sam Lassio. How's everyone doing tonight? Sean Walker. Playing Minecraft. Joseph Stallman. Hey, how's it going? And Kaylin Bruce. Hey, what's up, everybody? All right, guys, we are officially called to order. This meeting is going to be about Star Wars, mostly the spinoffs. We've been hearing a lot of different stuff about how Disney wants to do basically a movie a year and just make this franchise as profitable as possible, as if it wasn't already. Uh, But not a whole lot of details coming out so far, so let's just speculate. Let's talk about what we want to see happening, what we think might end up happening, uh, any of the sort, kind of stuff like that. So, who wants to throw out the first suggestion out there? What would you like to see as far as Star Wars in the future? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll start it off. Then. Some droid uh, was just talking right then. <laughs> yeah, uh, I've, there's been a lot of rumor and speculation that there is going to be a spinoff about bounty hunters and stealing the original Death Star plan. Uh, we thought that that was going to be the first spinoff until Rogue One was announced. So I'm kind of still hoping that if the Bounty Hunter plot is not in Rogue One, that it will get its own movie. Now, you wrote an article on Fanboys about Rogue One, uh, <laughs> but I haven't been uh, privy to too much information about that. Give us a little backstory about what has been thrown out there about that movie. All right, guys. So for those of you who are fans of the Star Wars universe but are not like the ultra sweaty nerds like some of us are, then you might remember from the original Star Wars episode four, A New Hope, that at the Battle of Yavin, which is the very end of the movie, they're going to destroy the Death Star. And there's that famous little thing that a a family guy kind of made fun of where they're like, gold leader standing by, red leader standing by, red two standing by. (laughs) <laughs> Red Squadron, after the battle, into Episode 5, becomes Rogue Squadron. And the Red Leader becomes Rogue Leader, also known as Rogue One. So this movie, just by the title, is essentially telling us that it's going to be about the Rogue Squadron. Now, about where it takes place in the timeline, we're going to have to ignore all of the expanded universe stuff. So all of the books and comics in the past that people have been hoping might be canon. It is now Star Wars Legends. We're just going to have to ignore that. So the Rogue Squadron existed after Episode 4, during the events of Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back, and actually in Return of the Jedi, they went back to Red Squadron. So Rogue Squadron only really existed at the end of 4, all of 5, and like the beginning of 6, which means Rogue Leader... There were only two of them, Luke Skywalker and Wedge Antilles. Now, in the expanded Star Wars Legends universe, they did go back to Rogue Squadron after Episode Six, So there is the possibility that Rogue One can still bridge the gap either between Episodes 6 and 7, uh, The Force Awakens, could take place after The Force Awakens since the movie comes out after Episode 7, and could maybe even bridge a gap between 7 and 8, Or it could take place concurrent to The Empire Strikes Back. Now, the main guy that we've been seeing from Episode 7, which they're really, really sparse on the details that they're letting people know, but uh, Oscar Isaac's character, Poe Dameron... God damn, I hate that name. (laughs) Sounds like a terrible It sounds really terrible. Uh, Like a horrible fanfic name or something. But he is a part of the rebel alliance or i guess they're not the rebel alliance anymore if they're you know in charge (laughs) who are they rebelling against they'll probably go by the uh they'll probably go by the title the new republic they better makes more sense um yeah he's seen in one quick shot in an x-wing uh so maybe this is kind of a vehicle for him i think that the only thing that they've announced so far is felicity jones and uh jones is in this right uh yeah that's the only name that's definitely tied to it she's cute i'm down for it yeah uh, I don't know if I would um, think that this would be the, the bounty hunter one. I think that that's probably something a little bit different. Yeah, well, the, the at least the one with the bounty hunter, um, I was – if they're if they're doing the stolen Death Star plans, if they're going back in time and it's going to be a whole movie about that time period, I honestly 
don't feel the need to see it. I want to watch something new and you know explore completely brand new characters. You know they can go in any direction they want to go in. I wouldn't mind seeing um, stuff about the Rogue Squadron though. I just don't know how much how well that would sell as far as like you know starship battles. I guess. See, I'm of that weird camp where. I love Star Wars. I mean, it's like one of my favorite series of all time. But there's Definitely. aspects of it that I don't really love. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think it's kind of the difference between whether or not you like Star Trek and Star Wars, but amplified. Like, mm-hmm. I don't care whatsoever about the starships. Oh, yeah. Or I'm, the aliens. I'm there with you. And, like, don't get me wrong, Wedge is a great character. And, yeah. and Wedge is now awesome. that it's Now that, like, it's legend, it won't be, you know, it's not part of canon or whatever. But uh, some of his stuff... Some of the stuffs I've read about him uh, when he wasn't in a you know a massive battle that was more interesting than the actual battle because I just I don't know I just didn't really care about it. Fun fact about Wedge: the guy who played him is actually related to Ewan McGregor. Oh, uh, I've that. met um, who's the is it Dak? I've met Dak. He was at a comic con one time. <laughs> Did he die? <laughs> no, he, he was super cool, and he just totally made fun of himself. And he's like, he's like, actually, I'm in the movie for like five minutes, but half of that, I'm not. That's not me. It's somebody else. <laughs> like, it's just my stunt double. <laughs> hey, nice. It's better to meet Dak than it is to meet Porkins. Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> Although saw, I'm pretty sure at any convention, you could probably find like a hundred thousand people that could end up <laughs> being Porkins. <laughs> but when you started saying the, uh, you were talking about the red, uh, the like Rogue Squadron, and you were naming off the names, that's the first thing I thought of. Porkins. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, pull up. No, I'm okay. Pull and up. He's like, oh, I'm outside. all right. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> what a fucking idiot. <laughs> That Family Guy joke is great, by the way. The red fox standing by. And all that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Simply <laughs> red stand- standing by. <laughs> so, about the Bounty Hunter one, I think I'd be good with seeing that movie, but it kind of depends um, how they would do that. Uh, the thing that I don't really like about bridging the gap between three and four is uh, how many different characters do they really have show up? Because these actors are old now. Mm-hmm. And you obviously can't, you know, show a quick scene of like they're bumping into Luke when he's eighteen because you know, I hate he's those in his fifties, sixties, whatever now. So they gotta like play really kind of carefully about that because you can't just introduce all new characters or else nobody's gonna give a shit. But you can't introduce a whole lot of people that you know aren't like Yoda or Darth Vader where you can get around it. You know, you can have anybody play Darth Vader, and as long as you've got James Earl Jones's voice, it's the same thing. Right. But, um, and Yoda, of course, totally CGI. But you can't really CGI Alec Guinness. So, <laughs> <laughs> like, while I would love to see adventures of, like, different things that have happened between them, it's really kind of tricky to pull that off. And another thing with the, the Death Star plans, didn't they say Bothan spies stole them? Yeah. Yeah. Well, they said many Bothans died to retrieve it. Oh, uh, so maybe the bounty hunters were just destroying Bonthans like it was cool. <laughs> Wait, no, <laughs> I'm actually, <laughs> actually, I'm I'm mixing them up. That was Return of the Jedi. Oh, Ma- for the code. oh the yeah. second, yeah, yeah, Mon Mothma, yeah. the the other yeah. chick in the universe other than Princess Leia. Uh, <laughs> that's the Is one there where she a says, man, "Maybe that many we Bonthans do died." This. Yeah. <laughs> Which show that scene? I don't know what Bonthans yeah. look like, but just cut to that part. Be- before Return of the Jedi, where they all get slaughtered. Are you guys all cool with going back and and seeing stuff from that time period, though? Like, I don't mind flashbacks, but do you want to see a whole movie set in that time period? I I don't mind seeing movies that, like, flashback in time. My only concern is I don't think we're going to see a movie that bridges episodes three and four. Because if you think about it, they already have Star Wars Rebels, the Mm -hmm. TV show on the Disney Channel. They have the, uh, now everything is canon which means that they all the books and the comic books they have now are canon. And they already have, like, a Star Wars Rebels-ish book either out or coming out. I don't even know if it's it comes out, out in so, It comes out in September, and it's supposed yeah, to... Uh, a, a yeah, new, a new Dawn, I think it's called. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think that's going to bridge the gaps between 3 and 4 a little better. And with, with the TV show, if they try to make a movie, now they're going to start, like, boxing themselves into, like, where in the galaxy they are and if there's going to mm-hmm. cross any paths... I, I think the most likely thing we're going to see if there's a if spinoff is it'll either take place during the events of something, but like, hey, this is what the camera didn't show you, like somewhere else, 
or it's going to bridge six and seven. It's going to be like the janitor sweeping up after all the people got blasted. <laughs> right. <laughs> Alrighty, so joining us on the line, we got another fanboy here, Mike Payton. What's up, Mike? Oh, Jimmy! Oh, dude. <laughs> I want a Jar- uh, Jawas spinoff. Just nice. follow those little fuckers around. Those guys are adorable. You know what they could do? You know, like, they have that show, um, uh, like, where they go to junkyards and find what, like, treasures they can find? <laughs> they could do, like, a, a version of that. Like American Pickers or something? Yeah. <laughs> That's Ween Pickers. Then you could have, like, a, another version of that with the... It's anonymous. Fuck that. <laughs> Let them do it. We were going to take this idea. All right. And then we can have uh, the version of the Pawn Stars thing where you can try to argue for power converters at Tashi Station. <laughs> <laughs> Be like, ah, uh, man, th- these uh, these power converters, they're just, they're not that good, bro. I can give you like 10 bucks. <laughs> somebody, somebody brings in a lightsaber. These are worth 100 credits. What are you talking about? I don't know anything about lightsabers, but I got a friend of mine who's really <laughs> into lightsabers. You mind Sorry if I call him? Shows up. <laughs> Let's just throw in ancient aliens to it. Some yeah. kind of Coruscant extraterrestrial. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, these E.T. aliens were from some kind of other galaxy. So, <laughs> Man, I want to see these TV shows now. <laughs> That's terrible. Um, so, <laughs> other than uh, Jawas doing their little American Pickers kind of thing and all that, which, damn, I really want to see that. It's ridiculous. Um <laughs> That actually brings up a little bit of a point. We'll cycle back to a lot of the other uh, topics, too, that we were talking about, because I'm sure we'll we'll keep bouncing around the idea of bringing uh, bridging the gap between them and stuff. But if you were going to pick, like, a side character, like somebody who really doesn't have much going on for them, what would you like to see some stories about? Because we're hearing a lot about, like, there's going to be a Han Solo movie, maybe a Yoda movie or whatever, but, like, there are people out there that really want, like, the story of IG-88 or something. <laughs> I you know that was who I was going to pick. He actually uh, has a cool story. What is the background of IG-88? He's like a mercenary robot. He's like one of the droids that worked himself out of being a slave. Hmm. Maybe I will see that. Yeah, see? <laughs> I mean, no matter what, I will see no matter what. like enemies. HK-47? HK-47? <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Is he one of the bounty hunters? Yeah. yeah he's oh, the one yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. The one okay. that looked like a um, steamboat pipe. He yeah. was the boss on the train level of Shadows of the Empire. Nice. <laughs> he's doing a, he, he's imagining a slam dunk during Darth Vader's speech. That was the uh that really odd game where they were like we can't do Han Solo. But you could be Han Solo with a different name in the Millennium Falcon with a different name, right? <laughs> You're like I thought it was the Millennium Falcon. Like isn't there a scene where Han Solo shows up and tells him he can borrow it? Is there? I thought it was like some knockoff. No, there definitely is a part in the game. Blame Dash Render's a real character. Like, back when there used to be other books, Dash Render's an actual character. Dash Render. <laughs> we need it's a so cool name. How about character. Dash? <laughs> yeah, we're in the 90s. This is cool. <laughs> it's 2014. We're going to name him Poe. Yeah, it's better than Poe, that's right. Would you want to see a Dash Rendar movie? Fuck. Hell yeah. After how awesome the video game was, I'm definitely down. All I remember is there's one level where you were kind of up high... And I used to fuck up on that all the time. It pissed me off. Mm-hmm. Did you know with that ice cape level? Where you gotta like jump between ledges? I don't remember that one. Is that after that? I might not have gotten to it's that. It's like the second level. <laughs> <laughs> the first uh, level is the Battle of Hoth, and the second level is that level. Uh, okay. I have no idea what video game you're on about. Really? You never played Shadows of the Empire on N64? N64. No, I didn't play it on the N64. <sighs> I didn't play any Star Wars games on the N64. SNES and GameCube and Xbox. So every system but N64. <laughs> but the N64, yeah. Uh, yeah, I played um, Episode 1 on the PlayStation 1. That, that was a game. game. I like that game. Do you guys remember Racer? Star Wars Bounty Hunter for PS2? Oh, I didn't like yeah. that one. Really? Oh, I love that game. I really dug the, uh, the, what is it, the 501? Star Wars Battlefront? No, no, it was like the squad or whatever, and you you control the star the the stormtroopers. Oh, storm Star Wars um, Commando, something. Yeah, something. Commandos. That was a really good mm-hmm. game. That was a really good game. They should remake that. And I'm knee deep in Knights of the Republic Online. I play the shit out of that. There you go. There's a good idea for a movie spinoff: Knights of the Old Republic. Oh, that'd, that'd be definitely. great. Yeah, that'd be cool. Well, well then they would have to Yoda, acknowledge all that history. Make like Yoda the main character, because you know you can get away with him with the CGI. Have that lead all the way up until, I don't know, maybe 
the end of the the last kind of Sith that they were talking about. Right. It was uh, Plagueis? No, because they never really mentioned Plagueis. Like, did they know Plagueis or not? They mentioned him in episode three, didn't they? Mm. That was uh, not, Sidious's master. Not directly, but they they mention him. They don't say yeah. him by name. Right. Well, Sidious <laughs> mentions him, but I don't think the Jedi do, right? No. I mean, they say in episode one, there's always two. There's the master and the master. apprentice. Right. And then they, they hint at the fact that Sidious killed his master, but they don't, like, delve too much into it. And Plagueis with his big old head. <laughs> yeah, he's, like, stretched out taffy, is what he looks like. It's really awkward. I, I was picturing him some too. looks like a big dick. <laughs> Wait, did you say taffy or daffy, as in daffy duck? Taffy, as in taffy oh. tuck. <laughs> so, I, I got a question. Uh, I was thinking... So we're talking about spinoffs. What other, um, like, movie or franchise had successful spinoffs that were actually really good that you would, like, want to see? I couldn't think of any. Spinoffs are tough. Like, TV shows tend to be better for spinoffs than movies. Uh, the Avengers? Uh, it's not a spinoff. It's, a, <laughs> it's not it's really the same, a spinoff, though. No, movie, all the so. spinoffs of it were good. What do you I mean? Would, I wouldn't classify. I mean, that like as Iron Man and Thor. those were already those were already movies, and then Avengers was like the. But they're spinoffs of the big story. That's the same idea as what's going on here. They're going to be side stories to the main story, and that's what all those movies are. Just because they came out before it, which is kind of like a twisted way of doing it, that was something unique they did. But it's still the same basic idea. They're they're fillers to the bigger overarching story that's told in those movies. Yeah, but I mean, those are based off the, the are loosely based off. I mean, the characters, but they're based off the comics. Where the comics were them by themselves, and then they created the Avengers. I but can they name a couple of the Avengers the whole bad time. spinoffs. <laughs> I can't think any good ones. I like Agents of Shield. I think that's all right. I, I, think think the I got bored after after twenty minutes. Yeah. Well, how about, whoa, whoa, whoa! We're all forgetting Mork and Mindy. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, Laverne and Shirley. One. Frazier. Jefferson's. That said, the, Je- yeah, the Jefferson's <laughs> are probably the best one. <laughs> How do you have a spinoff from a show about a racist then be about a, a whole family of people of a different race? <laughs> and still to be make up than for it? Shield. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's fair. Guilty conscience, that's <laughs> why. He, he very carefully just tried to avoid saying black family. <laughs> <laughs> I have class. I have to do it. <laughs> Not like Mr. Drew White, who couldn't be here tonight. So should we get, like, the Jefferson's version of Lando? <laughs> Since he's, like, the only black guy that they've ever had in the original trilogy, and we can't have Mace Windu because he's dead. Yeah, I want I a spin-off about... movie about Lando where he, like, sells out to the Empire, and they're like, it- it'll be great. We'll put you in these Colt 45 commercials. <laughs> <laughs> do you think that Stormtrooper's related to Lando? I hope so, but I don't think so. That way, uh, so. what I've been hearing about Episode Seven um, is that they're not trying to make it like every character has the, all the offspring and all that kind of stuff. Right. But what I was really hoping, as soon as they announced like these are the cast members, I was like, all right, well, the chick is definitely going to be Luke and uh, not Luke, uh, <laughs> Luke and Leia's kid. <laughs> they took that to the next kid. level, didn't they? Uh, they're doing a Game of Thrones spinoff. Yeah, they're like, that kiss wasn't good enough. Yeah. Uh, she's definitely going to be Han and Leia's kid. I mean, that's that's like a guarantee. They haven't confirmed it, but it's going to happen. So if she's like the like romantic interest when it comes to John Boyega's character, I would totally love to see him be Lando's kid so they can have like you know, when they get together, it's like Han and uh, Lando's family kind of converge. Right, right. Bit. And then they don't have to have argue little... about who has the Millennium Falcon anymore because it's within the family. Yeah, they'll have a, like a little <laughs> Beyonce baby. It'll be awesome. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, uh, man, I don't know if um, if they can pull off like a Lando spinoff. The only thing that's come out of Star Wars with Lando attached to it that I've really liked has been the Clerks animated TV show. Where they introduced the black character named Lando, <laughs> which was yeah. just amazing. Hey, Lando. Hey, Randall. <laughs> <laughs> that was so great. If they were going to do a TV show, what kind of TV show do you think they could pull off? I don't mm. think they can. Wait, within Other the Star like... Wars universe? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, like, you mean besides Rebels? Yeah, but I mean, like, yeah, like a, a live action, like a actual show. Oh, a live action. 
C three PO and R two D two's two and a half men. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Wouldn't they <laughs> be more like the odd couple? Did we already go over this <laughs> with the, the Jawas? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> combining it. Well, they can make a whole network. Doesn't Disney have like another <laughs> the Star Wars network? Yeah, for only nine ninety nine. That would be great. <laughs> Well, Trend. like, who's really paying attention to the different versions of ABC that they have? Don't they have more than just ABC and ABC Family? Yeah, I know. Yeah, they have a bunch of them. I don't even watch ABC Family, so that's not kind of the point. Get rid of ABC Family in general. Fuck families. They just have Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars. The Skywalker Family. We can talk about, like, uh, you know, Ancestry.com, go and back they, to the lineage and shit. They, like, slowly, it shows them kissing, and then it's like, the Star Wars family, we keep it all in the family. <laughs> <laughs> They've already got a, Disney's already got Marvel doing Netflix TV shows. I mean, they can have Lucasfilm do Netflix TV shows also. Mm. Is Lucasfilm can... still doing it, by the way? Yeah, but Lucas... he doesn't have anything to do with it, right? Lucas doesn't have much to do with it. I think he's right now just a creative consultant. So he's getting a paycheck for nothing. Basically. <laughs> They're going to be like, hey, how would you have done this? And he's like, well, I would have done it this way. And he's like, all right, take that, but then like trim all the excess off of it. Yeah. <laughs> Completely don't do that at all, all right? Yeah. They're like, hey, George, can you write some of the dialogue in this scene? And he's like, fantastic. <laughs> then they're like, okay, because we want to ship it out to the writers and tell them, whatever you do, avoid this. <laughs> and then they sell it to a porn studio and it works out perfect. <laughs> there you go. Something, well, that'll something, bring something that'll bring into uh, to Sean's idea. Sean, what was your idea that you mentioned ahead of time? Uh, what what did I mentioned ahead of time? I'm Natalie Portman and Kira Knightley, sex too. Oh yeah, that'll work. Yeah, that something, something great. anal. <laughs> or you know, of was, all the handmaidens. I'd watch that. <laughs> but Jar Jar Binks being the pizza delivery guy. Oh God. <laughs> Job the hut be the pizza delivery guy. You should order be extra sausage, you know, day. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's a spinoff we need. Just like 120 minutes of people killing Jar Jar. <laughs> bring him back to life. Kill him. Bring him back to a life. A thousand ways to die. Yeah. Did you ever see the you thing they did on Robot Chicken where like Jar Jar came back to see Vader yeah. and like Vader killed him. He became a force ghost and just <laughs> followed him around everywhere. Oh, Annie! <laughs> I love you, Annie! And then he, he takes off his helmet. He's like, Ooh, Annie, what can you do to your face? <laughs> God, the worst character in anything that has ever happened in Star Wars that I've seen. That is just ridiculous. So what, what I'm thinking they're going to do for a TV show uh, is more of a like dialogue-based, kind of like, um, I don't want to say Game of Thrones, but like more like a, like a political kind of thing and less about you know starships and you know more like the back background stuff oh god that's what they could do they could do a political thing and have like keith olbermann talk about the politics that are going on inside of the senate chamber <laughs> <laughs> it'll be like hardball with chris matthews but it'll be oh. about the supreme chancellor <laughs> <laughs> you could do law and order boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> i want to hear the john williams version of that <laughs> that would kick ass created by dick wolf <laughs> 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 I don't it's know such a manly really... name. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, it's a lot manlier than Pussy Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> TV shows are tough, though. Like, I've never gotten into the Clone Wars one because I hate that kind of animation style. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Rebels and... is the same kind yeah. of animation. Yeah, same thing. And I know that they wanted to do a live action for a while, but that's got to be really tough to be able to pull off the special effects and stuff because even the shows like... Smallville and stuff, they look really cheap, and they're yeah. trying to, you know, downgrade their amount of CGI as much as possible. So, you kind of can't do Star Wars without a lot of CGI. Uh, well, it's, it's is it is is this show going to be running on ABC Family or what? Like ABC? Is it going to be running on ABC? You got to give it a channel that has more money. Whatever it runs on, they're gonna. I mean, whatever channel it runs on, they're gonna get so much viewership from that. That it, however much money they put into it, it's going to come back, you know, tenfold. It's Does just, Disney it, own sci-fi? I don't think I'm so. Sure, I'm sure they own everything. <laughs> At this point, they pretty much do. At this point, yeah. I, I hope it's not a sci-fi like show, though. That would be disappointing. I think that sci-fi uh, is owned, owned by NBC Universal. Oh, uh, okay. Never mind then. So Disney owns ABC. I think Disney owns Discovery. That might be the one. They own either Discovery, History Channel, or Sci-Fi, and it's one of those three. 
Okay, they own ESPN. Uh, they own ABC Family. Uh, oh, ABC do? Television Group is a division of the Walt Disney Company. <sighs> well, what? We're all owned by the same people anyway. Yeah, <laughs> that one percent. Pepsi. <laughs> oh wait, well, we should have known that though, because Agents of Shield runs on ABC. Yeah. I just I don't see them not doing a TV show, and whoever gets it's going to make so much fucking money that I I, it's, I can't imagine it not being a really good show. Unless they really phone it in. Yeah, which I doubt they're going to do. They know how much money they they're going to make off of it, man. Like, why wouldn't you want to put you know a bunch of time and effort into it? Disney owns HBO, right? Mm, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. You know what would be interesting? A show about smugglers. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. They have like, like Job of the Hut pop up as like one of the main villains yeah like even show off some of the hut family that they didn't really get to show there's like so many jokes that i can go here with different types of huts <laughs> <laughs> sorry but nothing's gonna top pizza the hut <laughs> oh, fucking space balls i do not like that movie <laughs> i love space uh. i see your schwartz is as big as mine uh. <laughs> <laughs> Baseballs too. The search for more money. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just watch Men in Tights. Uh, if they were going to do a TV show and they were trying to keep that as like minimal for the CGI as possible, though, what would you guys like to see? Would you like to see a Smuggler's one? Would you want to see something based around the Jedi? Jedi's going to be too expensive. I feel like yeah. it was just if we're talking about price, Smuggler's is a lot easier to do. Well, I think they would leave Jedi, the Jedi storyline to, like the movies. The, the movies, yeah, yeah, and use the TV shows as like, you know, political fucking stuff. Yeah, especially if you're gonna do, um, if you're gonna set the smuggler, uh, the smugglers show during the uh, Imperial era. Yeah, I think you'd kind of have to at that point. Yeah. As far as uh, like spinoffs, I could see like uh, any of you guys read the tales, like the tales of Jabba's palace. Like that book that came out, that was good. I think that they could do a, a spinoff TV show of just some of the different things going on at Jabba's palace because there's a lot of interesting characters there, a lot of background. They all have their own story, and you know they developed it in the books in the expanded universe. But as, as far as a live action version of that, I think that would be really cool. Yeah, that definitely seems like because and then it's a lot cheaper because it's all in one area, it's all in the same building or whatever it is, uh, and you just you go through like you know. Either however the story plays out, the new story, you know what I mean? Yeah. But that would make perfect sense. Here's another idea. People like The Voice and American Idol and all that kind of shit. Max <laughs> Rebo. <laughs> Dude, it's about the fucking pipe band that they have playing, you know? That, that only know that one song. <laughs> we well, can I get like... some, uh, some after hours show with all the dancing strippers. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for uh, listening to our music. Uh, what do you want us to play next? Play the same song. Same song. Here we go. It was a <laughs> big mistake. It was a no, guys. <laughs> We've all seen uh, Robot Chicken, evidently. <laughs> all right, so they own a &E, History, H2, FYI, Military Channel, um, Lifetime. Disney owns the History Channel. Mm -hmm. ABC. The military Channel can do specials about the <laughs> right different Imperial military and everything. They own Hulu. What if they did start doing that? Like they just took over all these different networks and replaced them with like fictional Star Wars things. People would be so pissed off. I go to the military channel to act actually learn about you know, <laughs> World War Two and stuff, not about the Battle of Yavin. What the fuck is <laughs> going on here? And then Grand Moff Hart. No. <laughs> You know what I want finally answered, and maybe we can get it in a spinoff movie? The theory floating around that Boba Fett was the one who killed uh, Luke's aunt and uncle, not the Stormtroopers. I, I watched that. They did like a little YouTube video, or maybe it was like a, uh, a text thing, but I, I saw that. And it, it seemed convincing. I liked it. It makes yeah. a lot more sense because they really suck at shooting. And like they were literally <laughs> burned to the bone. Like literally they were just flaming skeletons like fucking Ghost Rider. And then and then he's like, and no disintegrations this time. He's like, ah, right. fuck, all right. <laughs> you know, fun. 
<laughs> oh, really? You gotta? <laughs> that would make a lot more sense. Well, would you want to see a show about Boba Fett? Well, I know that that's one of the characters that they really understand. It's, like, hugely popular. Right. So, one way or another, we're getting Boba Fett something. Whether it's yeah, aren't they, a aren't they saying that one of those movies, that they're, they're going to they're do other movies about other characters? I thought Boba Fett was supposed to be one of them. I could easily Maybe. see that being one of those. Uh, one theory that I've been hearing is that the Boba Fett one might not happen until after they do a Han Solo one. Because they can make Han Solo and Boba Fett, like, go off against each other in a, a movie. That would be cool. You know, do young Han Solo when he's still, you know, he hasn't gotten the Falcon yet. Maybe he gets it from Lando or something, I don't know, in the movie. But that way, when they do show the two of them in Return of the Jedi, and he's like, Boba Fett, Boba Fett. <laughs> he says it in the same exact way twice, I don't know why. Uh, you know, he's got to know Boba Fett. It's not just like, yeah. Boba Fett? Who the fuck is that, Chewie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then he would play a young Han Solo, though. That's uh, Yeah, I didn't know they were actually going to do one where he was a young Han Solo, because that does not sound appealing to me. Obviously, it would be Shia Wait, well, how old, how old was Han <laughs> yeah. Solo when they were uh, How old was he when they first introduced him? Like, mid-30s? 35, early 30s? Something like that? So, yeah. if how young are they going to go? Like, 10 years before episode 4? Like... Probably, I guess. If you go 20, I don't want to see a 15-year-old. Well, he was a slave at that time, and then he was part of the... uh, And then he was Imperial, right? A little bit, I think. Yeah, he was trained by them and and then, like, got out. Oh, well, I guess that's all... That all... all, That's not part of the storyline anymore, so... You know who I could see playing that? Zac Efron. No, No, he's actually not a bad actor. Did you really just say that? Yeah. Yeah. Tell me you didn't just say that. (laughs) Damn! No, please don't do that. He was I had to somebody Google who that was <laughs> long in the running to play a character in the new series. Like, oh. you know, they they kind of threw everybody's name out there, but his name was showing up for like months. So, so Zac Efron ruined his career when he did High School Musical. One of them. Is that where his career start like, started? It? <laughs> yeah. yeah, he Plus ruined it by beginning. As well. I think he ruined <laughs> the seventeen again. He ruined my ability to get boners from Disney movies. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, my I feel Michael's like there's plenty of guys out there that think the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Wago? <laughs> I could see him being a part of that. Um, who would they get to play young Chewie? Because Peter Mayhew can't do this forever. Well, it doesn't really matter if they're in a costume. Right, they're human. Know, like, are there really guys tall enough to be able to play that part? Sure. There's tall people all over the world. What are you talking yeah, about? Peter Mayhew was like it's eight like, foot tall. It's not like tall people have gone out of existence. You <laughs> could throw you could throw heels on Peyton and he'd be tall enough. It doesn't. I mean, <laughs> you could have a six foot two Chewy if he's young Chewy. Jesus Christ, dude! We could put freaking Caitlyn in the costume and make her look tall enough. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony's like, there's no, there's no other person. No, I, you know, I'm convinced no other people can play. Hang on, you, know you do realize Chewy isn't a real person, right? <laughs> like, you know that's not a real, like, animal. Right, well, if you could find a real person that looks like Chewie, then holy fuck, <laughs> cast the hell out of them, because they already got the hair and everything covered. It's like Cousin It. Hey, I give a call to my ex-wife, oh, yeah. <laughs> They really did not have to do this for uh, episode seven, getting Peter Mayhew to be Chewie. And Kenny Baker to be R2 again. Right. Like, if you can make that little uh, hamster ball, soccer ball-looking droid be a legitimate real droid... You can make R2-D2, and you don't need to shove a fucking midget in there. Like, it's hot. Hey, man, we can we can send flying drones to destroy other people's countries. I think we can figure out a way to make R2 drive around on set without a little guy in him. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they could do the same with the Ewoks. <laughs> do Ewoks. By the way, does anybody want to see the Ewoks get slaughtered in these new films? Because I totally want to. I have to not see them at all ever again. I don't mind them. Gosh, what's wrong with the Ewoks? They're I don't the mind fuckers. the Ewoks. I don't like the Ewoks. Think about them; they're evil as crap, man. Yeah. Uh, so did did any of you Star see Wars. that bloody Star Wars Ewoks movie? Yeah, I held them. Yeah, I wouldn't see a whole movie about them. But God, that was awful. Is it? It's not new. It's old, right? Would you remember? It was more? really, really Very old. old. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I remember yeah. watching it when I was a kid, and they have to fight like a spider and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> There you yeah, go. There there's a successful spin-off. spinoff. It was Drew Barrymore before she had boobs and was interesting. I want to see what happens after the Star Wars Christmas special. <laughs> the aftermath. 
<laughs> I want to see the Star Wars Hanukkah special. Oh. I don't know. The Star Wars Kwanzaa one might be better. Well, you forget they lived in an imperial. It's got Lando in it. <laughs> just yeah, just Lando by himself. himself. <laughs> <laughs> they lived in an empire for decades. I don't think there's any more uh, Jewish galactic. Yeah, I was going to say, which Star Wars character would be Jewish if you had to pick one? They're all on, they're all on Mustafar right now. <laughs> Yeah, maybe Lobot, maybe uh oh, you know who would be Jewish? The Watto. Natalie Portman. Yeah. Oh yeah, Watto. Watto totally is Jewish. Oh yeah. <laughs> Only money. <laughs> <laughs> they just did not apologize for that stereotype at all. And he has, like, he has like the big long nose too. It's so bad. Like, why Very... did they let Lucas do this kind of shit? He had so many good ideas in Episode One, and then so many shitty ones to back it up. That's probably why like, Disney bought him. They were like, "I'm proud of this guy." You know, you had redone episodes one, two, and three, but took it out of Lucas's hands. Like, if he did the original script and just gave you the same script, I think they could have made some nice edits to it and made a really cool trilogy. It had really cool ideas. Yeah. But, like, it completely fell apart with Attack of the Clones. Like, that only has, like, a nugget of a few things that were interesting. But, like, Revenge of the Sith has a lot of good material. Phantom Menace has a lot of good material. It was just, like, bogged down by, like, Lucas going, hmm, you know this Jar Jar character? You think he's a good idea? Oh, yes, sir, yes, George Lucas. He says, Jar- he says bring Jar Jar Binks, get Jar Jar Binks in there. It's right like, away, Mr. Lucas. They're <laughs> having, like, a meeting, and they're like, look, guys, I don't know what to do about George. He gave us this great pod race thing, but he also wants Jar Jar to step and poop. What do we do? <laughs> ah, shit. Well... <laughs> Well, as long as he doesn't do anything with his tongue, I think we'll be all right. <laughs> well, what does the lightsaber look like? Oh, it's a double one. Oh, fuck. All right. I guess we're making this movie. Because <laughs> we've got to do this. I'm a, I'm a big fan of, uh, of not doing anything, like not making Darth Vader uh, or Anakin the central characters of the story. I, I didn't was, find that. Because I, if, I like, if you watch them in order, though, now, from one through six, it's kind of the story of Anakin Skywalker. Mm-hmm. Even though Luke is the central focus of the last trilogy, it's still like sort of Anakin's redemption story through his son. Yeah, but if you really think about it, I mean, he was just a—he was just like the henchman of uh, the Emperor. You know what I mean? Like he didn't like wasn't a huge, huge deal as far as like the the, I mean, the he, original. All, originals. Yeah, but Vader's always like put on like the top ten greatest villains list. Like right. he, he still is a menace just on screen, he's even though he's only. <laughs> right, he's so better like, than Emperor, I think. Oh, and definitely. I thought they uh, like all the all the things they did with the tri- the original, not the original, the uh, the prequel trilogy, where like it, they almost equated him to like Jesus and Lucifer at the same yeah. time, being like the greatest of the Jedi, and then the fall of it, seeing him on Mustafar, where like his eyes were like yellow and stuff. Like I thought that was really cool. But then they bogged it down with that terrible back and forth between him and Obi Wan. Well, and then I mean, even even like I had I watched it in the theater and I really enjoyed that last the last fight scene and he's like his legs are on fire and it's really emotional yeah. and it's got oh, all this yeah. stuff. And then when they bring him back to life and he does the whole no, like I remember, I remember laughing out awful. loud in the theater. Oh yeah, they like, completely killed all the. And then when uh, Padme, it's like she's completely healthy, but she's lost the will to live. Oh, I know. It's like, well, she doesn't appear in A New Hope. Well, She's got to die. I think after the first movie, they all lost the will to do the finish the fucking trilogy, so they all just phoned it in. And then Leia, like, remembering her mother, but, like, she was just born and then her mother died. I still oh, think yeah, they could have right. gotten away with that if they would have just had her not only born first, but if she would have, like, given her a kiss on the cheek or something. Or, then it could have been have- like, well, you know, the Force... You know. Yeah, they don't have TV in this in the in there. They don't have video of her. <laughs> All the video they have is of the uh, Wait, the did... birth where she's dying. <laughs> yeah, I, I also don't. Re- I, they probably don't weren't thinking speech. of let's record this for future generations after like the Jedi have just been destroyed and this well, woman is dying giving birth. She's a senator, so I assume that you know they would have video of her. See, I would I would oh, also yeah, assume like, that right. Leia was on about her like stepmom. Or her adopted mother. That's why I thought, thought she was. Well, all you could have also said, said that. that the uh, the Empire took over the uh, Jedi Temple and everything, so they could have deleted all the records of Padme. Maybe that's another TV show. Where, See, this is like, the, the TV show. 
we're we're writing the TV show right now. Where's Peyton? <laughs> we need we need somebody to come up after us. We need somebody with uh, stuff. What's the name of that show where it's like uh like a swordsmith kind of guy or something? Oh yeah, like like the blacksmith people they make shit. You can do that know. with lightsabers. Probably something like cutting edge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can just see the logo right now. Then, like a little slice mark goes through it. <laughs> the saber's edge. Yeah. Hey, welcome to Cutting Edge. I'm Ted Johnson. Everybody, some generic guy that they hired for really cheap. <laughs> <laughs> they paid. I know it's stupid. Channel. It's great. <laughs> welcome to the History Channel. This has nothing to do with history, but you know nobody really cares about history anymore. Well, Discovery Channel uh, now is all just fucking car stuff. Ugh. There you go. Car TV show. Yep. Pod race. Oh, it's about like, yeah, pod racing. Speeders and shit. You could probably get a lot of people that would watch that, though. That's the thing. Do you think you could do like Pimp My Ride? Yeah, <laughs> Pimp My Speeder. <laughs> Pimp My Pod. Pimp My Speeder. Pimp My Pod, there you go. <laughs> P.O.P. Hosted by Sebulba. Since he's actually kind of cool. You know what would be, probably be cool? They could like. If they had, like, um, chicken walker races. <laughs> I love how we're getting more TV shows than movies. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean... They I don't think said any of these would keep people's interest for more than 30 minutes. <laughs> is 30 against... minutes is really giving it a lot, a lot more than I think. <laughs> I'm, uh, like, That's kind of funny. I'm not going to watch it. <laughs> I, I'm not particularly a fan of, uh, and I'm I'm not a sexist, but I'm not a fan of a female lead character throughout the whole series. Am I, am I the only one? No, I'm on board with you. I, I just doesn't make a difference as long as I don't think it cares as long as the story is good. Yeah. See that that's the the caveat with here. If they exactly. if they made this and they went, look, we got to have a chick because we haven't had a chick, and let's just do it because she's a chick. Yeah, it can't be, be annoying as hell. It can't be yeah. contrived. Then it's mm-hmm. stupid. But if it's a genuinely written character, well written character, that's awesome, and she just kicks ass with a lightsaber, and she goes through struggles and overcomes it, and it's not just you know finding a pair of shoes, then <laughs> fucking awesome. I'm in if for she's it. More like consider, that, considering like, Mon Mothma and Leia are like the only women in the Star Wars universe. <laughs> I, I wouldn't Josh. care seeing like a female led film. You just get Joss Whedon to write for it. He can write a strong female character that's interesting. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I had read something before that uh I thought was pretty interesting though. Prequel trilogy, the Skywalker that we're following is just Anakin. The original trilogy, we've got twins. Hmm. Then in this one, if she is technically a Skywalker then we've got a female. So each trilogy is a different Skywalker setup. So they she would have a brother. Uh, maybe. I. So what? So what do they do next? Do we have to get like a tranny Skywalker. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm really yeah. hoping is the case here is that uh, Dom Hall Gleason. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Uh, I'm really hoping that he's Luke's kid. Nothing really has been leaked out about that, but they're not saying his name or anything. He's just like, he uh, he's in the movie too, but don't pay attention to that. So it's like, you know, as long as he's not like Poe Dameron kind of a thing, um, I'm hoping that he's like Ben Skywalker. He does kind of look like him, and he's ugly as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm looking him up right now. He's just a redheaded little uh, weirdo over here. Well, not little. He's 6'1", but... He's 6'1"? Dude, yeah. he can play. Holy shit, it could be Chewbacca. Yeah. <laughs> Young Chewie's son, there you are. Tony's like, the Star Wars is saved. Oh my god, you can just have him in no scenes with Chewie so he can play both parts. He does look a lot like Luke, though. I'll give you that. Mm-hmm. Mark I can definitely see that. Especially if they keep that Mara Jade thing going, which they probably won't, but, you know. That could they be the difference. as a character. That could be the difference between why he's got the reddish hair. Well, mm. based on everything that uh, I've heard about The Force Awakens, uh, Luke is kind of playing the Ben Kenobi of this new movie, where like he's got his beard all com- like hanging out, like he looks very unkept. And they're basically right. saying like, if the rumors are true, Episode Seven might open up where he didn't even like rebuild the Jedi, like he just went into like seclusion and stuff afterwards. I heard, yeah, because he's like a hermit now because he doesn't know something happened after, uh, like. He can't control it or something like that. Did you read about that? Where like 
They're and that's why they're maybe, calling it, like the Force Awakens or something. Right, right. And he's he's basically turned into a hermit and like hid himself because he doesn't want to uh, like destroy his loved ones, basically. Mm. And so like the first about, movie is getting towards him. What do you guys think about Kenobi in general? Because I loved Ewan McGregor's version. Mm-hmm. And I would totally be fine with if we if we're gonna see anything that happens between episodes uh, three and four, if they could get you and McGregor to come back and be Obi Wan, that would kick ass, I think. And I, I'd like to see it? who you and McGregor. Yeah, yeah he, he hated. He hated the role. Really? Yeah, I, I thought, thought, he, that, I thought yeah. he loved it. I thought that he nah. said in a recent interview that he would love to go back anytime that they would offer it. Well, fucking money, yeah. But I had heard, I'd read like a long time ago that he had hated the role and hated the character. Huh. <laughs> Well, I'd I like I to see a little uh, continuity between the two trilogies. I know, like, a lot of the hardcore fans wish the prequels didn't happen, but, like, I'd like to see them mix it up a little bit and maybe have Luke having a conversation with Kenobi's Force Ghost and mm-hmm. it's Ewan McGregor. Right. That actually brings up a good point, though. Would you want to have him have a conversation with Yoda and Anakin? And if he's having it with Anakin, do you bring back Hayden Christensen? No, oh, God, no. I, no. I because, I mean, now we've got the quite kind of like the whole uh, who shot first debate. You have, like, is the Force ghost older Anakin or is it younger Anakin? Like, where do you define when Anakin Skywalker, like, quote unquote, died? I like, would define it where wherever uh, Hayden Christensen isn't in it. <laughs> That's where you would put I the agree. line. I <laughs> agree. As awful as Hayden Christensen is, and I think we can all agree that he's awful. I, I think he should be in it just for continuity's sake. You know, and don't have a big role for him, but just for continuity. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's, it's, if you didn't do that, then you'd have to cast an older actor just to play Anakin Skywalker Force Ghost. That could be better, though. It could be, but I mean, I don't think Hayden Christ Like, okay, Hayden Christensen, I don't think is that strong of an actor. But he also didn't get very good direction from George Lucas. Oh, definitely. But I think in, in the hands of J.J. Abrams, for the five minutes he could be on screen, I don't think it's going to take away from anything. Maybe that's Simon Pegg's role. <laughs> <laughs> he is supposed to be in the movie somewhere. Yeah. And he said that he wasn't playing a character that was just like, hey, look at Simon Pegg. So, oh, he's actually going to be an alien. He's probably going to be an alien then. Yeah, I would assume so. But who knows? Maybe he's... Uh, Anakin, and he, they just photoshopped Hayden Christensen's face over him. <laughs> he's wearing I, a Hayden Christensen like mask. <laughs> I'm no, he's, wearing, he's wearing just the Vader mask, like a Halloween costume. <laughs> like the it's just change. like, Bleh. remember when I used to look like this? Uh, sure. like, he's wearing the Darth Vader voice changer toy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I, I, I'd be a big fan of letting uh, Mark Hamill, because um, I mean, he does the Joker voice, and letting him. If if it was possible, kind of like dive into because he's a hermit now, right? So him being like kind of like a crazy old man kind of thing, um, where he can can like go towards the, the dark and comes towards the light, and they're trying to like bring him back and forth, and just watching him like go crazy, I think would be really cool because I'm sure he can do a lot of different voices and just his acting, I'm sure has has gotten better over the years. I'd love to see that deleted scene where he becomes cockknocker. <laughs> <laughs> I don't follow. Jane Silent Bob. Uh, Jane Silent back. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sean, you play the video games quite a bit. Uh, what kind of video game spinoffs would you like to see? Are you kind of in the same boat where it doesn't really matter if it has storyline? Uh... Oh, God, it's got to have a strong story. To mm. keep me invested in a video game, it's got to have a strong story. That's why I like The Force Unleashed, which was, yeah. for me, my favorite Star Wars game. Up until which, um, which is now not canon at all, but was it ever in, really supposed to be though? Yeah, it, well, it well, was. Yeah, it was supposed to. Remember back in the day, they that. used to have things like G canon, like U canon, or something. Like they had like levels of like, yeah, this is like eighty percent true, or hey, this is like fifty so percent true. But right. I remember when this came out, this was toted as you know canon, and it was a big deal, and uh, it was a great game. Yeah. Oh, no, well, the, they're already at uh, the end of this year, I think, coming out with another Star Wars Battlefront that is going to be canon. Which would be yeah. awesome. Sean, you were saying the it needs a strong storyline. It's got to have a strong storyline to keep me um, invested. So I would like to see... Um, I don't know what I would like to see, to be honest. I haven't given it much of a thought process, but I would like to see what would have happened, like, 
in between the third and the fourth. You know? The I'd like to see what Darth Vader like, did. Darth Vader and like how Obi Wan Kenobi like trained in the in the sand. You know, the Catholic what it's called. I'll be out your voice. You wanna see how that crate dragon died? <laughs> <laughs> They showed how he died in Robot Chicken. Did they? Yeah. And he's Did like they? in a pond and she's like, there's nothing out there but desolate wasteland. I'm going to be the first great dragon to roam the world. And then it's like 10 minutes you later. See the, yeah, you see the bones. <laughs> so, uh, Sean, you were saying that you, you Force Unleashed until what? Like you were you, – until you played what? Uh, well, I I was a big fan of the Battle, uh, Battlefront games and I'm right. really looking forward to this new Battlefront that they're going to be doing. I'm just hoping that Disney's not going to fuck it up. Because they were in the middle of making what I thought was going to be a great Star Wars game, but I can't remember what it's called. And they, Disney decided to can it. Oh, was that the Bounty yeah, Hunter one? one you're talking about. But was I it can't. the Bounty Hunter one? Uh, yeah, it was the Bounty Hunter one, yeah. Yeah. And I was really looking forward to that. And I had that on pre-order. And Disney decided to go, yeah, we're not doing that now. Dave, you already had it pre-ordered? Yeah, I had it already pre-ordered, yeah. Jeez, are you a fan of the Knights of the Republic series? I am indeed. Do you play the online version? I do indeed. We're gonna make out later when this is done, right? Oh, it's okay. So good. <laughs> <laughs> now, Stalman, you read the books. Uh, Kaylin, you mentioned that you read the books. Um, I've never gotten into the expanded universe. I know some of the stuff just from like reading, uh, reading like Wikipedia and stuff. Uh, what do you guys think about the idea of the solo twins possibly being in these films? Like, I'm hearing that possibly the main character of this film is their version of that, and maybe a uh, Adam Driver's character is another version. If they're going to do that, is there any kind of, like, spinoff material that they might be able to bring in? You can go first, Bob. <laughs> uh, no, I'd be okay with that. Um, as, as far as how they develop it, I mean it's really wide open at this point. I'd be okay with anything, you know, just as long as, as long as the storyline is good, I, I'd be open to just about any ideas that they have with that. Uh, as far as the books go, you know, like I was mentioning, I, I have read some of the books in the expanded universe. Uh, there's way more that I haven't read than what I have. Uh, but, you know, like, I, I think if they developed any of those storylines, as long as the story is good, I'd be on board. Mm. Um. This goes for all listeners and everybody here. If you haven't read the uh, the Star Wars: The Essential um, Chronology, uh, it's a book you can pick up for like fifteen bucks. You can order it off Amazon if you want, or Books a Million or whatever. Definitely go pick that up. And even though it's not canon anymore, it, it's it's basically just a, the history of Star Wars, and it goes into details about the characters and all these different storylines. And it goes way back. Uh, before Knights of the Republic and then way past uh, the Battle of the Evan. Uh, it's really entertaining. And that's, that's where I read most of the stuff. And that's how you like learn that Chewbacca dies. And, and as long as they don't kill Chewbacca, I think I'll be okay with whatever yeah, they do. Yeah, but did you hear how Chewbacca died, though? Yeah, the twins. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, <laughs> I don't he, was, want to he, fuck but, he was saving them, though, and a giant yeah. moon just crashes into him. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, yeah. He's standing there on the planet, and he's looking up at the moon hurtling towards him, and he just screams at it. And the moon crashes down. Well, it's because Solo's kid was being a little shit, and he like hit a Chewbacca had to jump off the plane or off the the ship to basically to save Solo because he didn't want to live or he he was doing something stupid. So yeah. he threw him on the 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 ship. The ship had to take off, otherwise they would right. all die. But like and he Chewbacca's... went out like a bamf though. Oh yeah, a moon crashes on him. They're like. Yeah. Fuck you, think- you, Peter Mayhew. <laughs> Tony, Tony's like, the only person thing that could kill a man this tall is a moon. <laughs> <laughs> he actually just gets squashed down a couple inches so they can find actors to play the part. <laughs> he becomes like three or four Ewoks. He's actually Peter Dinklage <laughs> in Game of Thrones. <laughs> um, but there's a there's a lot of storylines that they could they could go in any direction and. Uh, I mean, he's read the books. Uh, he he's played Knights of the Republic. Um, I mean, there's so much information, and those are so good, and there's so much history and all that. That if those people can make that, then the people at Disney can hire good enough people to make this, make some really good shows. And I doubt they're gonna fuck it up. This next year or two is gonna be a phenomenal, you know, like couple years for Star Wars fans. The other main story that I've been hearing um, 
that doesn't really get any kind of mentioning when it comes to the spinoffs as far as I've been uh, reading reports and stuff. I don't know how to pronounce it for sure, but it's, I think it's Yuzon Vong. Uh-huh. Those kind of offshoot alien race people. What do yeah. you guys think about that? Would that be something that you'd like to see in the future films? Uh, as far as I know, that that was like people didn't didn't enjoy that because it was almost like a Star Trek. How the what are the robots that come in and take over everybody? Borg. Yeah, it was kind of like a Borg kind of thing. Oh, Borg. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know too much about them, but they're like like the force doesn't work against them or something like that. It seems like a very contrived, uh, like, well, these guys are badass and nothing can beat them kind of a thing. Mm-hmm. It reminded me a little bit of the second season of the Power Rangers where, for some reason, every bad guy that was in the main series just left because the evil machine empire came and they're so much worse than we are. <laughs> so, I, I don't know. I don't know if I really want to see something like that, but I would like to see uh, Thrawn. I would love to see. Oh, definitely. Empire. Yeah. If there's going to be one that bridges the gap between six and seven, heir to the empire would be an awesome way to start it off. Uh, okay. What's the name of that thing that they are starting to do now with rebels, the, the inquisitors or something? Yeah. where like the inquisitors are like sent off to like, I think what are they sent off to kill the last of the Jedi that survived order 66. Right. I've but, like, actually the, never seen rebels. So they're basically like Jedi rebels. hunters. Right. Nobody they're not they're not the rebel actual Inquisition. Sith. Yeah, they're they're not actual Sith from what I understand. But they're trained in the ways of the force and they have red lightsabers, but they don't want to call them Sith, I guess. They're like independent contractors. Well like they're they're trained. <laughs> they're trained by uh Darth Vader. And they actually they uh spoiler alert for anybody who hasn't seen Star Wars Rebels, the last episode, the uh the season finale they kill the Inquisitor that's going after them, and the Emperor sends someone else to go take care of them, and it's Darth Vader. Hmm. Oh, cool. Great, now he's ruining things. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm a big, I'm a big fan. It's like his his hand, basically, like Darth Vader's yeah. hand. Um, what, what wasn't about... that what uh, Mira J was called? Yeah, wasn't she right? referred to as the hand? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, what about the uh, the cis species? Like the red, like the one Sith. No, there's there's like red. They're like red, and I'm trying to think. Um, continue, and I'll Google it. Sorry. Are they like actually like an alien race. <laughs> yeah, like they're well. I want to say that they met them. Uh, some Sith were like they left, and they they were going into like the unknown territory on the outside of the galaxy, and they were there for gone for a long time, and then they came back, and they had all these. This is like way past the uh, Battle of the Evidence stuff. So this is, like, way in the future. Um, and, like, wh- I want to say Luke's one of his, like, grandchildren or something like that. He's, like, a bounty hunter, and he uses a lightsaber. And it's his whole storyline. It's really good. And the uh, uh, I'll find the name of it, and I'll give you guys links. Sorry. I all saw- I know about the expanded universe when it comes to Luke's kids beyond Ben is that they all have weird-ass names. It's, like, Cade Skywalker and... That wasn't uh, that bad, actually. <laughs> the, like, the one of them's got, like, really bad Jerry Curl kind of hair. Doesn't yeah, one of them just, like, totally wuss out and, like, finds out his grandfather was Darth Vader and, like, that makes him go to the dark side? <laughs> so it's like, like oh, no, my grandfather was Darth Vader. Now I'm going to be you. Well, like, sorry, honey, we got to get a divorce. My grandfather was Hitler. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I love your mom, though. She's a nice lady. See, that's why I can never get into the Expanded Universe and why, if they're going to do spinoff movies and stuff, I'll watch all of them. But if they start doing more books and everything, like, I still won't be able to read the books. Like, yeah, there's like, just something about that that it doesn't cross over well, to me. I think they've said, like, even though, like, all the video games, all the comics, all the books from now on are going to be canon, mm-hmm. it's more just, like, sprinkles on your ice cream. Right. Like, you might see, like, little hints in the movies of something that happened, and you'll be like, oh, that was in the book uh, A New Dawn. But, like, if you didn't read the book, you'll just be like, huh, new character. Right, and I think you're more apt, to, people are more apt now to read, uh, just re- actually read the books and read the comics now that you know it's part of the canon, and there's, you know what I mean? Like, it's right. official. Like the new Leia and Luke and Vader uh, comics that just came out. Well, it's yeah. canon until somebody else takes over the franchise in 30 years and says all this is not canon. <laughs> right. 
I'll be dead from diabetes by then, so it's okay with me. <laughs> from drinking soda and watching Star Wars. Troll G years for all the How I Met Mother fans. <laughs> so uh, let's just go around one more time. Sean, any other ideas that you had that we haven't touched upon yet? All those ideas? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to move on from John then. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait, did, any... did his mic drop out? He's sneezing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Peyton, any other uh, things that come to your mind? Mm, no. I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm ready to just sit back and see what they got in store for us. I'd, I'd like to be surprised. Very much agreed. My, my, my microphone was on mute. My bad. <laughs> you just ask him for like any final thoughts on like spinoff movies yeah we'll go back uh, either to second, Sean. the only other things i'd like to see are either a trilogy like a spinoff trilogy of the old republic or i would like to see the thrawn trilogy as like a spinoff series what about you sean anything else we haven't touched upon yet i want a motherfucking disney ride <laughs> Ooh, mm-hmm. yeah that's true they do need to start doing that yeah other than that, I can't think of anything. For all those times you go to Disney World, Sean? I, I've been to <laughs> Disney World three times, amigo. Oh, well, I'll be damned. Okay. Yep. I've only been to the American ones, like, one each. Florida twice and Paris once. I don't think Paris counts. No, it's, it's fake <laughs> it's Florida. Paris. It's, it's, it's fake Disneyland. Is, isn't Europe only, like, exist on the internet anyway? <laughs> <laughs> Kaylin, any other ideas? Uh, like you guys were saying, I think the Tron, uh, Thrawn trilogy would be cool. I'd like to see some more development of that on screen. Um, I, basically, overall, I'm just excited that it's in new hands. The franchise is in new hands now. I want to see what J.J. Abrams does with it. Is is Abrams doing the the other uh, the side calls or whatever the spinoff ones? The no, he's only doing this one movie. Directors. Isn't he? Okay. He might the only, the only though. yeah, the only what? rumor right now is that he's going to come back and direct nine, but that hasn't been confirmed yet. Okay. Well, either way, I'm excited that it's in new hands. You know, hopefully we can take it in some fresh new directions, and I'm I'm just excited to see where they go with it. Yui Ball is going to do one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Stalman, any other uh, things? No, I'm, I'm the same way. I <clears throat> I hope that they they do some sort of TV show that gets uh, um, not just the hardcore fans, but it, it appeals to my wife, so I can have something to sit and watch with her. And it's an actually good TV show. I think that would be really cool. And then I think they should do some kind of fish eating contest uh, where they can win t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the one last thing that we have to do is plug some stuff going on in our world. So we want you guys to check out. So uh, who wants to go first? I, well, I guess no I'm going to go first. So there we go. <laughs> I'll go first. <laughs> <laughs> you can go ahead. I've done my plugs. I have nothing to plug. Oh, okay. Well, you guys can uh, catch more articles from me on fanboysanonymous.com. Uh, this is Sam Lassia. So anytime you see something Star Wars or Marvel related, it might be me. Galen, Stalman? Uh, just check out all the great stuff on Fanboys Anonymous, Markout Moment, all that good stuff. Uh, if you're in Texas, in, in Austin, you can come to Sketchfest and watch me perform. Uh, I do three shows a night at Cold Town uh, Theater if you're in Austin. So hit me up if you're coming to South by Southwest. Um, other than that, no. Payton, round us out. Uh, if you enjoyed listening to my voice, you can listen to me very often at all the shows happening on MegapowersRadio.com, specifically the Raw Post Show on Monday nights if you're a wrestling fan. You can also find anything going on in my world by following me on Twitter at M-R-P-A-D-E-N. That's Mr. Pain. Alrighty, guys. Stay tuned. Everything else that we had mentioned here, along with the other things coming from fanboysanonymous.com, the different podcasts like the Four Real Movie Club, Review Point, other group meeting episodes, Sand and Snow podcast if you're interested in the uh, Game of Thrones kind of stuff. Um, one way or another, just follow the Facebook and Twitter accounts and fanboysanonymous.com for all that information. Go to Smart Out Moment and all of the other A Mango Tree projects. And for everybody on the panel, all the fanboys and fangirls that couldn't be here, I'm Tony Mango. I am a fanboy. This meeting is adjourned. See you next time, everyone.